Hello, my stamping friends. This is Renee Novak at BlessedByCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm here today to share with you some tips and tricks on how to use your paper snips to create banners to, um, for your card. So you can create banners at different lengths to make a design on your card, or you can use them to um, for your greeting, to accent your greeting. So we're going to do a little bit of both today. So the basic concept is to start with a piece of cardstock that you have already cut and whatever length you want. And the idea is to take your paper snips up the center and then banner it, connect it from one side to the other to create a banner. So for this shorter, wider one, I'm going to make a smaller snip. So I'm going to find in the center and I'm just going to do a little kind of tiny snip up there and then I'm going to angle it so that I can meet that and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to angle it like this to meet it there and that should just pull out and make your banner okay so that's the first one now you can make it a lot deeper if you want to depending like I said on your cardstock so the farther up that you go with your paper snips the deeper your banner is going to be your flag banner it's going to be a little bit um deeper you'll see what I see what I mean so it is fun to kind of create these in different varieties you can overlay them like this or you can do different um different layering or you can just do them side by side so again let me show you that you just go up and depending on how deep of a banner this one I'm just going to do a teeny tiny little snip and then when I go to the side I have a real small narrow banner but again if you want the deep one just go farther up and take that same concept to meet from one side to the other to meet your center and you get a deeper banner okay so that's the basic idea now let me share with you another way to create some banners so th this one we could do I stamped already on this one and I snipped them on both edges but I'm going to show you how to do that by stamping on this one Put my greeting down and then I'm just going to angle my snips to the corner and that's how I make that side banner now what you can do is you can add that to another piece of cardstock and center it and let me get my little glue here I'm gonna put that on there I'm going to add this banner right on top of my cardstock so that I can make an accent for my greeting now you can leave it like that if you want and add it to your card or you can take your snips and go right alongside of that to create a sideways looking banner okay and then this one I'm going to um, put a little glue on this and I snipped it again on both sides so I did the same thing on that one and I snipped it on the other end and I'm going to angle it right down here glue it on and you do want your cardstock to be a little bit longer than your greeting so that you can cut it okay so then you bring in your paper snips and you just snip off that side and then you turn it around and you snip off this side and now you have another unique banner that you can create and so um, like those be beginning banners where you might use them as accent pieces on your card or you can actually use your greeting as well remember if you're going to do this to banner you want to start and stamp to the left side so you have oops sorry so you I pushed too hard on my surface up here it's a little softer than I'm used to okay so stamp it to the side so that when you go to put your paper snips down to make your banner in the middle first then the side 
and then this side again. There you have your banner. So those are three fun ways that you can create a banner greeting and then you can use your paper snips to create all kinds of interesting banner looks for your cards. So that's our weekly Wednesday video with tips on how to use your paper snips to create banners. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share with your friends. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any future videos. And until next time, be blessed.